What's going on, my Ukrainian kangaroos? Today we're going to be talking about Storm Shield West. So we just uh, completed talking about our Storm Shield South uh, on the previous video, so go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, we talked about all the block off and all the tunneling for uh, the south of the Storm Shield and Candy Valley Endurance. But today we're going to be talking about the Storm Shield West. So, uh, Storm Shield West, uh, relatively simple, simple tunnel. Way less block off, uh, way less like quirky things than the South. Um, but there, we do use a, quite a bit of lock off and a lobber shield. So, um, we're gonna take you through the tunneling first. Um, we're gonna talk about our uh, block off, how to do it, uh, the types of traps I use, and everything else. So, first off, the, they're gonna be spawning right here where I'm standing, all the way to the end over here. And then right around here, they're going to be spawning. So uh, our, our pathing is we're going to take them through here. Uh, there's going to be a, a little bit of a spawn trap. We're going to take them through here, up this ridge, all the way up here, into our little trap tunnel, up this ridge, on the right side of it. And we're going to recycle them inside this trap tunnel, uh, towards the amp, which is the amp's right here. So, um, this is a relatively simple build, easy to build, but first we're going to talk about something. We got to talk about, uh, block off and how we do it. So, um, there's a thing called a sandwich in this game. It's basically a way of making husks path where you want them to. You can put enough metal, tier three metal in between a husk and your objective to make them walk anywhere in this game. You just need enough of it. So, um, one of the ways we're going to utilize that is something called a sandwich. So a sa sandwich is a cone edited into the walls you want to protect so they're coming from so if they could beat on this wall or this wall you want to protect those walls so we're going to edit that cone in that way and we're going to surround that cone in walls what that's going to allow us to do is protect uh put one two three layers in between the uh the husks and their objective uh so we can fit a lot of layers of block off uh in uh in between the husks in a relatively short amount of distance so uh, we're going to start uh, by showing the traps off. So our traps on uh, that we're going to be using for this build are going to be ceiling electric fields. Um, these are going to be element energy. They're going to have crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, and increased building health, uh, which you can have the option of changing the increased building health to durability, I believe. So uh, for those of you guys that aren't stocked up on legendary trap durability survivors, you want to use that. As well as we have ceiling drop traps. I have two schematics. One uh, has uh, two durabilities on it. Uh, crit rating, crit damage, and reload speed. And the other has uh, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, and durability. Um, a couple other traps of note are ceiling zappers. These are going to have damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, and durability. Um, tar pits. Tar pits are, have all durability on them. We have sound walls, which are going to have two reload speed, three durabilities, and one effect duration. Wall darts, which are going to have crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, and durability, as well as increased building health. Um, we have wall dynamos, which have crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Uh, and our wall launchers are going to be three times impact wall launchers with two times reload speed with a plus 42% durability. So those are the main traps we're going to be using in our tunnel. So let's go, let's go through the tunnel and uh, show it off. So at the start, there's uh, this is going to be a pathway up this left side, and uh, this right side is going to be a pathway up. So we're going to block off that left side, but the pathway that's going to happen is we're going to have our spawn trap here with uh, a 4x2 grid of uh, ceiling electric fields, a 3x1 here, and then a 2x2 two two grid of ceiling electric fields. Uh, we're going to take them in uh, through this little area. We're going to have one... Two, three walls off to the right side, starting at this uh, first tile of this ramp. We're going to have a sound wall here to get the propane off the propane husk, and the sound wall here. Uh, these are just going to be my standard sound walls, and then there's going to be the three connecting tiles to keep our spawn trap up. So we're going to go across there. We're going to have two ramps above it uh, attached to these sound walls to connect uh, to the other thing, and it's going to serve as a lobber shield as well. So this is going to connect to our uh, single electric traps. Uh, so we're going to have two ceiling electric traps, um, a wall launcher that's going to push them all the way over here, and a sound wall to take the uh, propane off. Realistically, we can replace these with um, ceiling tr tire drop traps, and it'll be a lot more effective. I just haven't gone through and replaced it. So we're going to go up here. 
uh, we're gonna have on the back of that ceiling uh, or that sound wall, we're gonna have a wall on, or a dart. And then we're gonna surround this entire thing in wall darts. Uh, what this is gonna do is anything that stands right here and it's going up this tunnel is just gonna get absolutely obliterated by that. As well as we're gonna have ceiling electric fields to shock anything in here. So anything that steps in here is gonna get hit by four ceiling electric fields. Then we're gonna have a sound wall off to the left over here to um, get the propane off the husk in case they still have it. Uh, we're going to go into here. There's going to be a tar pit with a wall dart on the right, a wall launcher, a three times wall launcher uh, to the center, a ceiling electric field above. We're going to take a left. There's going to be a tar pit, a wall launcher, a ceiling electric field. We're going to take a right. There's going to be a tar pit, wall dart, ceiling electric field, wall launcher. The wall launcher is going to boop them all the way back here. And then we have a timeout room. So this timeout room is important. Uh, and something I should mention about the sound wall is it's going to be edited with a uh, window in the middle. So uh, this wall dart on the right can shoot through those windows and it's going to be able to hit the husks on the other side of this window as well as the husks inside this uh, timeout room. So there's going to be a wall dart on the right, wall dart in the center, a dynamo on the left, a tar pit on the ground, and a ceiling electric field on the top. Uh, there's going to be a ceiling electric field up top here, ceiling electric up... Uh, on top of the tar pit we're going to take a left then there's going to be a ceiling zapper on top a wall dynamo on the left and a uh, wall launcher uh in front with a tar pit on the ground this is what this is going to do is if they, anything is making it here it's going to be a big boy like a smasher or a mini boss we're just going to try to nuke that shit down uh honestly so uh facing the amp there's going to be three walls on this west side and then three ramps uh and that's going to connect to your tunnel right here so uh, that's our pathway for it. Now we're going to talk about the block off. So on the, the trap tunnel side of things, um, we're going to start at this ridge. We're going to go one, two tiles over. And then we're going to put a sandwich down facing the northwest. This is just going to make sure the husks don't go through these uh, wall darts here and then walk around to your amp. Uh, we're going to have uh, this part of the block off for our south uh, still. So we had all this block off right here for the south. But uh, we're going to have this... Um, Behind this uh, wall launcher right here, we're going to have a, uh, a sandwich facing the southwest. Uh, and behind the other one, we're going to have a sandwich facing the northwest. Uh, that's all block off from my previous video. If you haven't seen that already, I'd check that out. Um, now we're going to talk about the main important block off that, like, realistically is going to make or break this build. <laughs> so, first off, we're going to start at this natural ramp to the, what is that, northwest of our uh, storm shield. So this is in between your uh, northwest amplifier and your storm shield. There's going to be just a layer of sandwiches right here. And realistically, we can take this uh, wall out. We can just uh, attach the two cones facing each other. And that'll uh, be the same amount of block off and layers between. So we're going to put that uh, just one layer of sandwiches in between there. And uh, one layer of sandwiches right here. Uh, what this is going to allow the tusks is they're not going to want to walk all the way over here towards B and then walk all the way around here and then up to your amplifier because I've seen it happen before. Uh, kind of annoying. So then we're going to go up next to this block off in this one tile gap. We're going to do a um, a 2x2 two two grid, but there's not going to be able to place a cone here. So uh, like we don't place a cone in that one, but it's going to be a 2x2 two two grid right here. We're going to go over one to the south and there's going to be a uh, like a cone with a um, surrounded. So it's going to be a sandwich right here. And uh, this one behind it, we actually can't place tiles in because Epic screwed that up somehow. Uh, but we can't place tiles here. Uh, and then as well as uh, to the south of that, we're going to have just two walls over here. So if the husks do want to go over here, they have to walk all the way around these tiles. Um, so behind that to our uh, towards the storm shield to the east. Uh, we're going to put a wall spike on this wall right here. But what that's going to allow to do is that there's any baby husks that come up here, they're going to beat on it, and they're just going to die. Because uh, we can influence the husks if we're just AFK. We're going to stand near the storm shield. Uh, if the baby husks are going to be the assassin husks, they're going to come over here, hit the wall spikes, and die. Realistically, nothing else is going to come over here. They're going to go towards the trap tunnel. Okay. So behind that, we have a uh, edited cone piece. Um, and we have a wall dart on the back of it with building health on it. Um, I don't think that's as necessary as, uh, but I had it there when I uh, initially did this. As well as, if they break through both uh, this wall and this cone, there's going to be a wall spike with health on it. Uh, with healing attached to it. Just to kill those little uh, small things. Above that, we're going to have a floor piece and a cone piece on the natural ramp. And then we're going to surround it and uh, 
sandwiches. So it's going to be a sandwich on the south, north, and the east. And then we're going to put uh, two more additional layers to the south of um, of the back block off to the east of the ramp. Uh, so that should cover all the block off. Uh, that blocks off uh, everything to get them to path over to this uh, like south side of, uh, of the amp. So now that we have the block off done, we're going to talk about the lobber shield. So starting at this uh, ridge, uh, you're going to take it one tile over and then you're going to go... Okay. So maybe we should have a better start point. So at this little corner piece right here, um, to the left, it's uh, to the west of Storm Shield, and it's going to be the southwest of Storm Shield. At this, we're going to take it up one, two, three tiles up our uh, lava shield. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, six tiles over. So it's going to be a three by six grid of lava shield, so 18 structures. Uh, this is just going to allow the... Um, the husk to go into the tunnel versus throwing over our lobber shield and onto our storm shield. As well as we have a little tiny lobber shield over here. So on our block off where we started it, we're just going to do a, uh, a two by two grid of uh, floors here just to make sure that nothing throws from that spot. And realistically, that's going to be like just the basic tunnel. So we'll go back through it again just to make sure you guys got it. So they're going to spawn here and they're going to spawn over to the south a little bit. They're going to walk through here. They're going to get hit by, what is that, eight uh, ceiling electric fields and then five. So 13, 15 ceiling electric fields. That's going to be spawn trapping them. There's going to be uh, sound wall, sound wall to get their propane off. They're going to path through here. They're going to get boinked over by the wall launcher. And there's going to be a sound wall that's going to take off the propane. They're going to enter a death chamber with uh, wall darts in the ceiling electric fields uh, surrounding it. And a sound wall to take the propane off if they still don't have it off. Uh, we're going to have wall darts, uh, wall launchers pushing them back into the death chamber. We have tar pits to keep them in place. We have wall launchers recycling them uh, again. Then we're going to have a T-tunnel with a timeout rune off to the left. And then this wall launcher is going to push them into the timeout room. And then to the left of that, we have a wall launcher to chain recycle them all the way back through it. Realistically, we uh, are only preparing for, uh, we really should only prepare for the first wave, but this is prepared for if uh, we get hit on any random wave uh, throughout Twine, or throughout Candy Endurance. Um, this should should realistically get you through every single uh, like random wave in Candy Endurance. Um, realistically, they're not going to get past this uh, ceiling electric field room um, on regular. All this is built for uh, later on in case we do get hit again uh, on the random waves. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have some gameplay after this. Make sure to like uh, and subscribe to the video. And tell me in the comments below uh, how you guys did yours. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.